Hello my beauties and welcome to yet another episode of Skincare with Asikia Iyala. Of course, I'm your girl Asikia Iyala. Today, I am back with another exciting video. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a skin lightening body lotion. I know I have made series of videos on how you can make skin lightening face cream, skin lightening body lotion. But this is going to be a different video entirely because I'll be breaking down the reasons why I am going to be using this um, ingredients that I'll be using to make this product why we need to have our face A B and C the face A we have the water face we have the oil face which is the face B and we have the cooling down face which is the face C so I need to explain to you guys why we need to have all of this now if you are new to my video I like to say this all the time before you begin anything you want to make sure that your environments are clean most especially if you are going to be selling this product out to people you want to make sure you want to meet up to the FDA law yes you want to make sure you're wearing your gloves you want to make sure every of your containers and equipment they are sterilized now one other thing I like to encourage people to do is to have a record of uh, the ingredients measurements and percentage um, just in case you want to be making this product in the nearest future you want to make sure you're keeping a specific uh consistency all the time yes um in some cases some manufacturers might decide to change their recipe or add a little bit of color or they might decide okay we don't want to be using this particular actives or skin lightening agent anymore we want to switch it or tweak it in a way that is a deliberate art but if you try this product you like it and you want to keep a certain consistency you don't want to say oh my god uh what did i use the previous time what percentage did i use so always having a record is very necessary i did show you guys uh in my previous video that I have a recipe board where I keep all my recipe uh, on there. So each time I want to make a particular product, I go there, pick out my recipe calculation and just measure out things and move on. You know, <laughs> it's easy and it's just the best. So I'm going to beg you, if you want to sell this product, you want to keep that consistency, then you want to make your record. I'll be leaving this recipe in my description box and also in my comment section, just in case uh, you want to try this do it on your own at home then you can have my recipe uh, one other thing I want to mention is that whatever equipment that I'm using here and you want to buy them you can leave your comments uh, in my comment section and I'll be leaving a link for you guys where you can buy my temperature tester and also my pH tester right here my bakers uh, the scale and also my machine right here which is my mixer you can uh, buy them directly from the link that i'll be leaving in my description box and also in my comment section i'm going to measure out uh all my ingredients that i have here and then i will walk you guys through on my face a b and c so uh what else what else be patient and watch this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video Let's begin.
welcome back guys now I have all the measurements right here and let me move this aside this is going to be our face A now right here we have our water measured out we have here our three different actives and in here we have the shoppy white we have the uh, alpha alpha thin and we I have the pro white these are the whitening or lightening agent I should say and over here I have my polysobe 80 I hope you guys can see this is the polysobe 80 and also the glycerin over here and right here is the face B which is the oil and the wax face now in here I have the steric acid I have the e-wax which is the emulsifying wax I have my coconut oil I have my shea butter and I also have my grapeseed oil in here now this is the face C which is the cooling down face and right here I have the vitamin E and also my preservative um, including okay I've not measured out the fragrance yet I'm gonna be doing that once I'm ready to do that because I have to measure it out from the bottle now what we need to do is to combine our face uh, a right here melt it and then put it in a double boiler so it can melt fully and we check the temperature to make sure it is above 100 degree okay guys and then we are also going to put our face b in a double boiler so all the oils and wax will melt before we can now use them <laughs> definitely we can't use them like this okay and then we'll keep the face c um aside first because this is going to be a cooling down phase like i just mentioned we don't want to add everything together if you do that it's going to be a mess so let's keep this aside right here pour this right in here i hope you guys can see okay we'll pour our powders in here like so I won't be adding the glycerin and the polysobe 80 yet because we don't want them in a hot heat first. Uh, we'll add this when we'll add it in when we are almost ready to mix the face B inside the face A. So you make sure you mix everything properly. Come over here and turn on the heat. So we make sure that that is heating i hope you guys can see what i was doing over there so this is the stove right here so we have um, our pots so we can do the double boiling method and i am going to put these over here so it can start to melt while i am trying to get this so we don't waste much time I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. My camera angle is always fucking me up. <laughs> so I want to say something really important here. When it comes to measurement of uh, ingredients, it is very, very necessary to have the accurate measurements for your ingredients when it comes to skin lightening products. What's going to happen when you go below the measurement? that won't be a problem the only problem you will have is maybe the product will not work the way you want it to work but when you go above then that will create problems to your skin or to whosoever that will use it they will have issues you know they will have issues on their skin so we don't want to go above uh the measurement if the require measurement for let me say the sharpie white is from 0.2 percent to two percent then you don't want to go above two percent you can go below two percent if you're using other actives like i am using other actives right now and what i have for the sharpie white is 0.5 because i'm using other lightning um, ingredients not just the sharpie white if you're using just a sharpie white then you can do um, 
two percent and not above that okay guys i just want you guys to understand this because measurement of the ingredients when it comes to skin lightening is very important because these are actives and when you go above a certain limit that can create problems uh, for people who would use the product most especially if you want to sell it if you're using it for yourself no problem you can go on and destroy your skin if you want to okay so um i'm gonna put this right in on my double boiler here this right here we would let this seat here so they can fully melt because we still have this over here that is not melted already the heat will help melt it really fast and this is also going to take some time so I'm gonna bring you guys back once they are fully melted so we can continue the process okay ladies um, this is the time to add our polysobe 80 and also our glycerin into the liquid okay i hope you guys can see all that's right in there once this is in here we are quickly going to check the temperature and start mixing the Phase A and phase B, which is the oil face and the water face. I just need to scratch this out here really quick. So phase A, which is the water face, and phase B. Now one mistake I did, it's not a mistake, I mean you can still do this, but I would call it a mistake right now because I love to um, melt my sharpie white in the oil rather than the water you can melt it in the water but it takes longer time and it needs more heat so I had to pause this video and waited for some time for it to fully melt before I came back so yeah now if you make the same mistake that I just made by putting the sharpie white in the water you want to make sure that all the powders are fully um, dissolved you don't want to have some particles in there you know you want to make sure every single powder is dissolved fully yes before you now start a mixture otherwise <laughs> look I've done this practical before and it was a mess I wasted my products yes but I would prefer you always put your Sharpie white in the face A, uh, so, sorry, the face B, which is the oil face. That would be much better and much easy for you. Okay, guys. Why do I always say okay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I think it's time for us to, let me heat it a little bit. Where's my temperature tester here? Let's see got here now this is 160 over here 160 and uh, and this is 187 which is quite good to mix so let me move the angle of this camera and bring you guys back it's time for us to start the process let me bring this down really quick here and quickly we are going to pour in our oil this is hot man Ooh. this to run for at least 30 minutes 
and I will come once in a while to check it and see what the temperature is. Where's my temperature tester? Right here. Mountain temperature is 163. And as soon as the temperature starts to drop, you would see that the, the uh, lotion will start to form. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna pause this video and bring you guys back <clears throat> once it's time for us to mix our cooling down face which is our preservative and also our vitamin E and also our fragrance yes because we need some kind of aroma now when it comes to skin lightening not just skin lightening product when it comes to ingredients actives uh, cosmetics ingredients they don't really smell appealing yes if we want to leave it this way which is good but we will not have um, maybe some customers will buy the product and complain about the smell so it's always good to add a little bit of fragrance or you can use like um, essential oils that has nice fragrance so it will be very appealing for people to buy the product and enjoy it just in case you are not aware I have a website where I sell my skincare products and I also do customize um, lotions and whatever you want me to customize. But one thing I don't do is when someone calls me and tell me, oh, Sikia, um, I, don't, I want something that will whiten my skin or I want something that you will increase the volume. That I would never want to do because there is a law here in the United States you can't go above a certain level of your ingredient once it is above a certain level then it becomes a drug you can't sell that over the counter it has to be a doctor's prescription and this is the reason why I had to come up with the small um, what is it called the dark spot corrector oil that I have in my website so you on your own can mix that in your lotion at home if you think the products you're buying from my store is not giving you the effects that you want you can buy one or two of that oils and mix them into your body lotion on your own at home that will help to activate the lotion that will help to boost the effectiveness of uh, the lotion but i cannot customize any products for anyone with uh, a high uh, volume of the skin lightening uh, effects no i will not get myself involved in that i'm gonna bring you guys back once this is getting to the cooling down phase and show you the next step to take okay ladies i am back after 30 minutes and as you guys can see the cream is forming already so right now we are somewhere around 100 which is still too high to put our vitamin E and also the preservative that we have over here. So we we'll wait a little bit more and hand mix in order to help the machine, the mixer. I like calling it the machine. <laughs> this is gonna be a thick consistency. If you want the consistency to be lighter, you want it to be a lightweight lotion you need to increase the amount of water you have there the percentage now in this one we have let me see where's my recipe this one we have um 51.3 percent water in there okay so if you want a lighter consistency then you want to um, add more water into the recipe maybe you make the um you make the water 70 percent of your total value of what you have here i hope you guys get that okay i know you do temperature is dropping it's time for us to switch this off we don't need this anymore and we have here 98.4 
which is good. So slowly but surely, the temperature is dropping. I'm gonna move this right here and move the camera angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, I would wait a little bit for the temperature to drop more before I add the cooling down face, which is a face C. All right, ladies, um, I took a short break and now I am back. So this is a very good time to add in our vitamin uh, E <laughs> and also our preservative right in there. And I am going to, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, okay. So we can add in our vitamin E. And this is our preservative. Good. now you need to check the kind of preservative you want to use if the manufacturer says the preservative um, can be mixed in a certain temperature that is a temperature you want to mix your preservative okay you don't want to go against the manufacturer uh, the person that manufacture the vitamin uh, <laughs> what am I saying vitamin the person that manufacture the preservative so you need to follow their guidelines you need to do exactly what they want you to do so right here I have my fragrance and I told you guys already if you don't want to use a fragrance you can use like an essential oil any essential oil of your choice and build your own story okay depending on what you want to name your um, product or what you add in there if you're using let me say uh, coconut milk or you're using coconut oil like I named my product coconut milk and honey body lotion um, you want to add some kind of fragrance that has like a coconut scent in it and put it in there if it's a uh, let me say for instance uh orange body lotion you want to add like orange um essential oil into it to give that smell so you need to create your own story that suits your brand okay guys so this is also going to be down the cooling down stage you don't want to put this in the heat as well otherwise you might burn the fragrance okay guys so your hand mix really quick and I will oh this smells really nice I will take this back to my machine here my mixer so I can mix everything in there nicely the final stage of making this uh, body product is to test the pH level to see if it's uh, pH friendly or not. Now, some manufacturers might ignore this aspect when it comes to the body, but when it comes to the face, I would advise each and every one of us to test the pH level of the product to make sure it suits the skin. Because when it's not tested, that can result to other issue. If the pH level is too alkaline or too acidic, so this is very important. I'm going to test the pH level and see where it is. And after that, that's going to be all for this video. But let me test the pH level with really quick here. So in order to test the pH level, we need a distilled water. Like this. Okay. And you need your pH testing kit. Turn it on. Put it in there, like so. I want to do this at the final stage when all of the ingredients are in there. All of your ingredients that you want to use for this product has to be in here already. You are sure that you're not adding anything else into the product before you test your um, the the pH level. Okay. So we get some of these in here. Yeah. 
and then you take your pH tester <clears throat> now you want to make sure that everything is on zero okay nothing else zero which is neutral and then dip it in here So this is what we have for the pH of this cream. And what I'm gonna do is to increase the volume. Now this is pH friendly, but we still need to, the reason why I wanna increase it, I wanna increase it to 5.5 or a little bit above that, yes. So, if you want to do that, you get your, You get your pH adjuster, and this pH adjuster is to increase it to the certain level you want. So we just need few drops of that, few drops of that, and we are going to be good. making a mess now you also want to be careful when you are trying to adjust the pH level because you don't want to go above it you rather mix um, you rather mix a little bit of uh, the pH adjuster first see where the pH level is and if it's not okay you can continue do not put too much Otherwise, you'll be doing something wrong. So you go a little bit gradually until you get to the point you want. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Now, in my case, I <laughs> most times I have to eyeball eyeball the pH adjuster and you know gradually add it in to my product so that I don't do something wrong now the moment you put the pH adjuster you don't want to test it immediately you want to wait a little bit before you test it because sometimes it takes a little bit longer for it to adjust for you to know the right pH level. You quickly throw this out, change the water again for us to be able to test it again. Okay, people, I am back again. And I told you guys that when you try to, um, when you try to put your pH adjuster in there, you want to wait at least 30 minutes for it to adjust so that you'll be able to get the accurate um, pH level. Now I am back to test it and I have my fresh distilled water in here. I'm gonna put my pH tester right there. And in a clean container, I want to get some quantity of the cream. This is okay. So we have it at 000 over here. And what we need to do is to dip it in there and test. Now this is a very good uh, pH friendly lotion. We have 6.18. For the body, it is very okay. It is pH friendly and <laughs> you're done. I want to show you guys something just in case. Let me move this aside. Just in case you have the pH level in alkaline state, you need something like glycolic acid to lower the pH level, to bring it down. And we have this up here. This is to increase it. So this is alkaline and this is acidic. This is a two different kinds of pH adjuster. 
that I use all the time when making my products. Okay, guys, and this is very important. I'll be leaving the names in my description box. You need to buy all of this stuff so that it will help you um, regulate your pH level. I think that's all I have to say here. Let me switch this off. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you have any question you want to ask concerning this uh, video, please leave your question in my comment section and I'll be willing to reply back to you as soon as I can. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. I would prefer you follow me on Instagram. Um, you can send me messages on Instagram. That's like the easiest access, uh, a place where you can access me. Uh, although I do not go there all the time. Oh, should I say I do not check my messages all the time because I don't feel obligated to do so. Now, people don't pay me for consultation or whatever. So the only time is when I have the time to go in there and check my messages. And please be polite. When you send me a message and I don't get back to you as soon as I can, it doesn't, I mean, you don't have to insult me or leave me a very ugly comment. You're not paying me for consultation. You're not paying me for anything, not even teaching you. So be patient. Whenever I can, I will reply back to you. There are some people that have wrote to me uh, two weeks, three weeks, and when I have the time, I would go in there and start replying messages to um, everyone that I can reach at that moment. And sometimes I do send out my private contact, my phone number for people who have like severe issues uh, and they want to talk to me about it. Then I can go ahead and give them my phone number. In the case where you want to make inquiries about my product, please send me an email. <laughs> Don't rely on my Instagram uh, DM. You need to send me an email. Copy the email address on my screen and send me an email. When it comes to my email, I check them all the time and I try to reply back to people as soon as I, as I can. And there are times where I have so many messages, more than a dozen a day, and you can't believe how hard it is for me to reply back to everyone. You need to also, uh, know that there are times when your messages come uh, into my inbox it goes to my spam and sometimes I forget to check my uh, spam messages so these are the things you need to consider so this is going to sit a little bit and it won't be as liquid as this right now so once it drops to 40 and below that the cream will emulsify the more already it's emulsify I would say the consistency will be thicker um, the more yes 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 that's all i need to say like i will always say guys if it doesn't feed you do not water it bye for now and stay blessed i love you